All right, guys. Here's that uh, spotted gar we speared the other day. Look at that guy. He's pretty. Don't don't cut. Don't cut. Don't cut. Uh, it's been in the refrigerator. And uh, put it in the freezer overnight. And what that does is uh, when you thaw it out, all the slime will come off, you know, real easy with it when you run it underwater. And it takes off a lot of that fishy smell and a lot of that slime that you don't want touching your, your meat and everything. So we're going to go ahead and start getting into this bad boy. What you're going to need is a good sharp fillet knife and some sort of a heavy, heavy duty shears. These are some uh, metal tin snips shears here. So, okay, now with this guy, I want to go ahead and try to preserve as much of these scales as I can here. Go ahead and try to preserve all these, all this upper here. So we're going to start from here and we're going to work our way up through this anal fin. These metal shears. Okay, you can start by just using your, your thumbs and your, 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 your fingernails just to kind of separate the meat from the, from the scales. And you got a bone right here where this fin's at, so we're going to go ahead and just hit those. Just like that. I'm going to work our way up here. These uh, metal shears make short work of this guy. Okay. Now the better you use to clean all the fat and this uh, muscle tissue and sinew off this uh, the hide, the cleaner and better it's going to cure, the less smell you're going to get out of it. An overall better product you're gonna get. There's that hole where I hit him. It came out right here. Pretty good. Alright, there's the gar. What I'm gonna do. down to this board and some, uh, some old nails here I need a few okay so he's regular old salt preserving the old school way So about right there. Just 
a little bit. You want to put these nail holes just about where you're going to do your stitching and stuff like that so you're not puncturing so much or tearing up your, uh, your hide so much. I'm going to do this all the way through. like that so I went ahead and nailed it all the way across and we'll go ahead and put some more later on when we uh, we're gonna go ahead and thread it up for whatever we decide to do with it but uh it's a little hollow underneath like that just some air circulation to get through and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, hit the rest of it with some salt now the salt's gonna go ahead and pull all the moisture out of this thing and remember we already went ahead and uh froze them to get all the slime off them and then we scraped all the meat and most of the sinew and fat and everything we can get out of under the hide and we hit it with salt already I'm gonna get these edges real good and don't be afraid to be liberal with the, the salt it's a natural preservative just like that edges this is going to help me keep the salt just from spilling out and stuff like that alright it's no big deal it's probably ain't nothing but 50 cents you know alright there you go. I'm gonna fill that cavity up a little bit. Make sure it's all underneath. Get some in here. There you go. Just like that. All right, I went ahead and placed this uh, gar skin uh, covered with salt. Every inch, every inch. You want it all covered with salt underneath, inside and out, and the sides. And uh, <clears throat> air ventilation in a nice, dark, cool place. I got mine in the garage here. We're gonna go and put that air so it circulates underneath that skin just like that. And we got the fan right there. All right, well, let's this bad boy cure for a few weeks and we'll get back to it. <laughs> 